Right now, tubers, welcome back. So, I talked lots of shit in the last video. I said I wasn't gonna drill holes, I ended up drilling lots of holes. The plan changed, so this time I'm not gonna tell you about my plans. I'm just gonna simply do them, upload a video, hopefully I get at least 12 likes, and move on from there. Now, I have asked the wife for some financial encouragement support perhaps might be the right word for this project and she has said no absolutely not you are not buying a new inverter so what i need to do is shell shill shill some high quality products so if you go to my teespring store and you type in the discount code 18650 I can't actually be sure whether it's 18650 or 18650, but it'll be one of the two and it'll be a link below. You'll save 10% on all my t-shirts. That will provide an extra $3. Now, if I knew how to do maths, that would probably encourage me to list some profit margin. If you bought 4,000, I might be able to buy an inverter, but it will help and I do appreciate it. And also to Adam Sierra, thank you very much for the $18.65. It's it's still funny when I see that in my PayPal account. And on that note, it's been a minute and 30 seconds. Let's get this started. Let's do this twice. How easy is that to remove the packs? I have eight of these mounts left. If anybody would like one, 80 bucks each. You gotta pick up, because I don't post. I think I probably should take the opportunity to dust. I'm sitting here thinking if I actually needed to do all that. Ah, right. oh, I actually do need to do all that. If I went to my own planning meeting, I'd know that. Oh yeah, a couple of holes. Right out. Those holes. Well, let's see lots of spack filler in my future when I decide to change this again. But this is the fine this is the final way it's going on, right? Okay. I just need to make sure. Which one's positive? This one's positive? Oh, that one after that one, so that's fine. The wire goes through. Awesome. Okay, so the wire fits through. So here's the fun part. My plan is, clearly not very good plan, I'm going to put the cable through those holes, so that's not big enough. Where's my drill? Jesus, whose idea was this? Oh yeah, that'll do. I run out of lugs, so I had to go to um, 
J car and basically get my wallop raped for four good quality terminals. Okay, so they're not gonna go through there, but I'd rather have it nice and tight fit so it's nice and clean. And I'll print the terminal on afterwards. So that's that one done. Gotta do this one. Do that one off camera, I think. So in my hunt for some blue cable for the negative run, I found one of my old battery post terminal um, fuses. So I might actually end up using that in between the two batteries in order to have a midpoint fuse between the two batteries. That is indeed a good idea since I have it laying around. Does my hair look all right in this? I'm going for the angelic look for my thumbnail picture. Anyways. That seems like it's going to work, right? Let's do this. I'll put that there just in case you... There we go, look. It's all better now. Okay, so, layout. So the plan is, after a little bit of swearing and some snacks, we've got the power cables through the roof. Um, and they're going to go behind. They're going to have to come up into here somehow. And then they've got to go into this one, which is a 20 amp uh, solar disconnect, basically a DC breaker. So that'll come in there and there. All right, YouTubers, I can't in all good conscience let this video keep going the way it's going. So I have put the camera down. Well, I didn't really. I actually rambled for the next 20 minutes and tried to put my thought pattern out there. So you sort of knew what I was thinking. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what I was thinking. Um, I'm going to put this up now. I'm going to show you what I did. And before I drill any more holes, I'm going to get you to tell me in the comment section below whether you think it'll work or not. Let's see if this works. Right. Around this way. Right. That worked. Okay. So what I've done was I've took, ta taken, taken, taken the board off of there with the, the screws that held it onto this rail here. Um, and I've run the, the DC down from the solar panels. So here's the plan. This is what I've done. I've set this up now. I haven't dropped this again twice. I'm sorry, Jaron. Um, it still seems to function. <laughs> uh, that's what you get when you're filming, unfortunately. So I've got the Batrium Watchmon 7 there and I've got its shunt there. Now the plan is I have got a DC cable here. So that's negative. So that's coming out here, All right? So I'd imagine this board is over in its home over there and i've got the seven negative balance leads and the one positive balance lead there and i have a little tiny hole drilled there as well so there is room enough for that cable so we've got positive cable there it is altogether too long the plan have negative come out here like i'm going to drill a big hole here i've got um one of these things stepper drill 32 millimeter stepper drill so the plan is a nice big hole down here, have the negative come out, and as I'm going to try and sort the radius out so I get as much curve as I can, negative out into there, and then negative from there, and then into the negative there, and then the positive will come out there as well and go straight up to the positive terminal there. So, and then I'm going to have another big hole up here where the negative and the positive exit and then go around to an inverter that doesn't exist yet. Second of all, I've got the solar. So the solar's here, that's off the roof. It is not plugged in. That's gonna come in from a hole over here. So I've got negative and positive through um, this four pole, uh, is it 20 amp, no arc, DC disconnect. They're more, I don't, not, they're not even fuses because they're not rated properly, but they are switches so I can turn it off and service them. So that will come in here and then on the other two will come back out and then come back up into the charge controller up here. And then back from the battery will come down through that one and then into here, which will allow me to disconnect those ones. Uh, this is the solar coming out of the solar charge controller. That's just a 50 amp. Again, it's more of a switch than anything else. 
and then the negative will come, well, the positive will be on here, this side, so the positive will come around and then into the positive there, and the negative will come down onto, I can't remember which side I'm gonna set it up on there. Um, and then I've got the, the, what are, the fuses for the bait trim and the fans. I'm probably only gonna fuse one leg rather than two and use one for fans and one for the bait trim. Um, I will soon get an email telling me that's not the correct way to do it. And if that's the case, I do have a little bit more space there. I could put another one and I do have another one laying around somewhere. Uh, so that will come from the power there. I have got the shunt wire there that I'll trim up and that make that nice and clean and tidy. I've got the positive sense cable here, which will go up into here. Um, so obviously that'll be shorter. I think, I think that's going to work. What do you reckon? Um, the video is getting too long, but I think I made it over 10 minutes like somebody suggested to the other day in the comment section. Do you think that's gonna work? I think it's gonna work. I, the only thing I can foresee being a problem is the stress that I'm gonna put on this cable to turn the corner fast. But at the moment, this inverter is only 1000 watts. So how much can that be pulling? And how much can the solar, I've only got one kilowatt of solar on that. Um, I've also got, that one kilowatt of solar that's on that, I'm actually gonna sell those four 250 watt panels. So if you're interested, they're Canadian solar, I think they're actually really good panels, but they are on my roof and they're not really being utilized. I've got a whole heap of 190 watt panels I might replace it out with. So if you're interested in those four panels and you wanna give me a reasonable price, I think I paid 300 bucks for them about 12, 18 months ago. Um, they are bigger panels and much better than my 190 watts that I get for free. So tubers, what do you think? Let me know whether you think that is gonna work. I'm gonna bank on, I'm being right on this one because I've got to wait for the comment section before I can actually move past to make the next video. So tubers, thanks very much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.